guys and welcome to another video by channel vegan on frodo thank you for tuning in to another one of my creative videos i hope you enjoy this one a lot in this video i will be showing you how i've created three really really cool deep purple black on top with pearly pearlex pigments creations i absolutely love them and one of these little circles is actually was one of the first ones I have sold to someone who just absolutely loved it. She loved it so much that she wanted to pay me for it and I thought that was just the coolest thing because I felt like I could share my creativity with someone. The way it turned out was absolutely stunning I think. I was so happy and I am so happy with the way it turned out. It sort of reminds me of Shell in areas it kind of reminds me of galaxy and there is this beautiful beautiful flow to every single one of these pieces that i'm showing you here and there is like character and something very very different there is i almost want to say there's a texture and there is a depth and they look absolutely stunning in person they look very beautiful on the sun or just when you're looking at them in the daylight or even in the night time and it's just something incredibly pulling. So what I'm showing you here is the way I started. So I basically had a piece of epoxy resin artwork which I wasn't overly happy with. So I think it's pretty easy to fix it up. First thing you do is kind of sand the top layer. Here I have a really fine sandpaper. So you take away that little bit of glossiness from the top and you also create a really good layer for the next layer of epoxy cuts to grab onto. As per usual, you mix your epoxy resin, you separate it out onto containers and you add your pigments or your colors to it in whichever way you want to create it. So for this work, again, I was using my Liquitex inks for the background, for the, the deep purple background and my creamy black pigments from Bond, as you can see that me mixing it there. And then I was adding my Perlex sparkly kind of metallic dust pigments in all the different colors. I think the variety of colors in this specific creation really created something very, very different. Almost like a rainbow or a seashell. Very cool effect. I loved it. I love it. A bit of a standard recently has been using the white, the creamy white. And all the different colors from Perlex, I really love the way they shine and the look. They're very, very beautiful, even if you have just make them, mixed them on, on their own. You can see here, I'm also using my bronze metallic powder as well. Open So here I decided to go with a dirty pour for all of my beautiful colors, very very light bright colors and then have a purpley black background. You can see here I'm using my old CDs just to try and capture the additional or excess resin that will be running from the sides. Mm -hmm. 
I really love how the product really flows and goes on top. That's really, really cool. And I absolutely love the glass-like glossy top that it creates. And once it's set, like it's not cracking, it's not going to dry up. Like, you know, with the acrylic paintings, sometimes it can dry up or you need to cover it with varnish. With this, it just stays just very glossy and very smooth on top. I think it's beautiful. So here you can see me creating different patterns and spreading out my paints, following my imagination and using my painter's knife. I think it's called, or you can also call it the pastry knife, pastry board. Pretty. Spraying spatula. I actually really, really love using it. I find it so, so, so helpful. And it helps me really create different patterns and just makes it look beautiful, I think. I really like using it in my artwork. So once I was finished with my main piece, I wanted to keep on creating. I was not done, I was feeling very, very inspired that evening. So I basically just went on and I created another two using similar colors. But obviously it looked pretty different. The final result looked very different. And I'm very happy how every single one of these items turned out. I think they're very unique, very bold but not too in the face. The colors are very gentle, yet very firm and bright. I love them.
Well, that is it for this video. Hopefully you have enjoyed watching me create this stunning, stunning pieces of artwork. And thank you for being here with me today. Thank you for commenting and letting me know what you think of each one of these pieces. And just remember to create from within and hope to see you again on the channel soon. Bye.